How can living near a Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, or Aldi affect home values? With locations around the nation, living near one of these supermarkets is great and only growing. When you're in the market to buy or invest, you're gonna wanna see how these grocery stores stack up. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Joe. I'm a real estate advisor with Compass. Today, we're gonna take a look at grocery stores and which ones are better for home buyers and investors and homeowners. If you live near one of these grocery stores, it's definitely going to impact your home's value. So make sure that you stay tuned. Adam Data Solutions, a company that releases real estate data, just came out with their 2022 grocery store analysis. And this shows how living at a Trader Joe's, an Aldi, or a Whole Foods impacts home prices. Taking a look here for average home value, Trader Joe's comes in at number one at 987,000, Whole Foods at number two, 891,000, Aldi coming in last at 321,000. Now, not only does Trader Joe's lead the pack for homeowners with an average value of 987,000, but it also takes the lead in home equity and with homeowners earning an average of 50% equity compared to Whole Foods, which is at 45 and Aldi at 38%. It turns out being located near a grocery store isn't just a matter of convenience, but it also has an effect on home values and home equity. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite grocery store is. And if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I have new videos coming out every single week so you can stay updated with the Miami market. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.